Hi, we're in book six, or volume six. Uh, this is a copy of my set that I have of the Bible story by Arthur, by Arthur S. Maxwell. And we are at part three. Okay. And the beginning of this, we have a painting by Herbert Rudin. And it's got his name on it. And I'll show you the image. It's a full page. Nice man and a little girl. Okay. At the bottom of it, it says Mordecai. Mordecai loved his little orphan cousin, Hadessa, and cared for her in his own home, not knowing that someday, as the lovely Queen Esther, she would deliver the chief, the Jews. Oh, we're going to talk about Esther. Oh, yeah. Um, there is a grave, and some people do go to it in there that they believe is Esther out there. Okay. Part three, story one, A Star is Born. Not to be uh, mistaken for the movie, but I like this these story, this little story because uh, would be a good movie if you would like to see. It is uh, Night with the King. That's a good one. And I'm not representing it. It's just the one that reminds me of this. Okay. Part three, story one, A Star is Born. If you live in Shashan, capital of Medo-Persia, a little less than 2,500 25, years ago, For instance, 2,500 years ago, you might have run across a very sad little girl. Her name was Hadessa, the Hebrew name for Myrtle. Oh, Myrtle is Hadessa. She was very pretty, but, oh, so unhappy. You see, her daddy had been killed. Her, her daddy had been dead for some time now and her, now her mama had died too and she was all alone in the world of course in other in those hard cruel times it was nothing new for a little girl to be left at an orphan but it didn't help poor Hadessa all she could think of was that she had nobody to love her. Nobody that is, except maybe her big cousin, Mordecai. He was much older than she, and married, and with a home of his own, and a job at the royal palace. She might be able to stay with him, if he would let her, if he cared enough for her. Fortunately, Mordecai did care. Gladly, he took poor Hadessa into his home and adopted her as his own daughter. Then he gave her a Persian name, Esther, which means uh, a star. If you think about it, it does mean star. Well, if you were in language like me, a language like do languages. You can recognize it in the word asteroid, which is a very little star, and in aster, which is a, a lovely star-like flower, aster or ester, a star-like flower. In Babylon, the morning and evening stars were worshipped as 
buds under the name Ishtar. What a bright little star Esther proved to be. Fair and beautiful, she was the light of Mordecai's home and the pride and joy of his heart. You can imagine how glad he was in the evenings when he returned from the palace to find her waiting for him with open arms. And night after night, you may be sure she he told her the dear old stories of God's wonderful love for his people and how he how he had watched over them in good times and bad times for hundreds and hundreds of years. So Esther grew up to love and honor God. She learned to pray to him and trust him and find strength through through faith in his goodness. Mordecai was one of many Jews who had been chosen to stay in Medo-Persia rather than return to Jerusalem. While it is true that 50,000 went back with Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel, hundreds and thousands of others stayed behind. The Medes and the Persian the Medes and Persian under King Cyrus and King Darius had been kind to them, letting them work and worship as they pleased. And it was easier to stay, stay than to return. Some, like Mordecai and later Ezra and Nehemiah, found good jobs in the palace and became friends with the king. With the king. Others scattered all over the country, going got to got into one kind of business or another, or took part in the life of the empire as though they belonged to it. Exactly what Mordecai's duties, we are not told, but in the movie, he's supposed to be a uh, write a script. He's a, a scroll. He writes the scroll, but that's other people's version. Okay. The Bible says that he sat in the king's gate, which may mean that he was an official in a court who, with other royal servants, waited near the palace entrance to obey the king's order. orders. One evening when Malachi arrived home, he brought the most exciting story. There had been a lot of trouble in the palace. Queen Vashni, I know that because I like this story. Queen Vashni had been deposed. At a wild drinking party that the night before, King Xerxes called a curious, a Horus, a Horus, A H A S U E R U S, her Horus in the Bible. Yeah, he's called something else in the Bible. Had ordered her to come to the party so that his chief prince should see her beauty, and she refused. Uh, that ain't what he says in the thing, but. Uh, you get older, you can read about it, <clears throat> but uh, just leave it, leave it there. I, yes, she had refused. She had exactly disobeyed the king, and uh, an unheard of thing in Persia, where a wife was supposed to do whatever she was told by her husband. In anger, Xerxes had said that Vashni was no longer queen. He could have done away with her. He wouldn't have her in the palace. She could go, and she had gone. And see, that, that's all it ever says, but she could have gone, like, completely. It was a, quite a story. And everybody was telling it every 
telling it to everybody else all over the empire. <clears throat> I can hear little Esther say, but dear, Mordor dear Mordecai, what will they do for a queen? What will they do for a queen? The king will ha have to have a queen, wouldn't he? <clears throat> and Mordecai may well have said, yes, my dear, of course he will. He probably He's probably looking for one now. Who knows? Perhaps he will want you to be his queen. Ah, interesting. <clears throat> oh, no, he would never think of me, she said, laughing at her, at her uncle's fun. He'd never want a Jewish girl like me. You never can tell, said Mordecai. Stranger things than that had happened. And what a lonely queen you would make. What a lovely queen you would make, my little star. And then, of course, it has what Mordecai's job is down here at the bottom. But that explains why he has Esther as a name. It's being star. But, of course, I hadn't read this in a really long time. So. And that was the end of part three, story one. So it's break. So I'll take a break and then I'll be back with more.